Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to say something about this. Mr. Speaker, I want to speak from a point of experience. I have served as a security officer, as a bodyguard to a member of this House for five good years. Mr. Speaker, from 2008, from 1998 to 2002. And Mr. Speaker, I want to speak from the experience of the bodyguards, of the security officers who guard us. Mr. Speaker, it's very unforgiving. It's very awkward to the officer when uh, your boss is engaged in uh, a riot, in demonstrations, and uh, your, seniors, uh, your seniors from the police are chasing and tear gassing your boss. Mr. Speaker, you are left in an awkward position. There is no way you can say you are a member of parliament and you go out there when you have a constable, police constable, as your escort. And at the same time, you are engaging in unlawful uh, picketing or rioting. Then a police, a police inspector comes to... Yes. Protect me, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the voice of the police officers has to be heard. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, the voice of the escorts have to be heard. We, we, we can't leave it at that. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Nimrod. Yeah. You end there. Yeah. No, no, Mr. Speaker, it, is, it leaves the officer in a very awkward position when you are a police constable and you are both a police inspector is now tear gassing you are member the member you are escorting the member you. you are guarding mr speaker Thank you. that order order honorable members honorable members you know very well